Hey Breezers, how are you guys? We have a Shani and Rev update. He just uploaded a video about 30 minutes ago titled G-Man openly lying about Shani and I. So I'm going to check this out. I figure it's way safer if we watch together. Here we go. All right, folks, how you doing? It's Rev. So G-Man has now gone, gone into full scumbag reaction channel mode with us. Scumbag and reaction channel mode? Really? This this really is, if you, I know you're going to hear this, G-Man. All those times that I called you a friend, all of those times that we connected as brothers in Christ were obviously total bullshit. I don't open myself to anybody, dude. And what you did to me and Shani is absolutely fucking disgusting. You're because he didn't want to enable you two anymore and pay your way? No, you're, you, you can't be Christian the way you, if this is the way that you treat your brothers and sisters. Hold on, you could be Christian and say, hey, I'm not enabling this bad behavior anymore. That is a possibility. So the latest thing that G-Man is saying about us is that we refused to feed the boys. What I want you to know is that every time that that EBT card uh, thing came in, my mind was on, I have to feed the children first. I believe it was, we have to feed Shani first. That's what I believe. Anybody else believe that? They always had food in that house to eat because I was going to get it for them first. Them first. I don't believe that one bit. I do not believe that. Always. True. Okay. This is a fact and this is this is how it was. We were starving to death and, and you were seeing how thin and gaunt I was getting, right? Yeah. I don't believe you and Shani were ever starving. We, we saw you guys eat plenty of times. Big meals, people sent in donations to you guys who got food with that. I'm not buying this. That's what was going on in the house because we wanted the boys to eat first. Yeah, and then right. whatever was left from the EBT card, we'd get, I'd get my peanut butter. I've been leave, living on peanut butter in a jar for the last <clears throat> six months. That's well, you know, you, you're the one who can change that. You can get up and go apply for resources, go find resources, go apply for jobs. You know you alone can change that. Hey guys, I go to a peanut butter jar, I take a little, I get a little filled and that's it. Every once in a while when we're blessed with the EBT, I'll have some chips or cookies or something, but it's not frequent, okay? This guy is a, a grifter, a scammer. G-Man is a grifter and scammer. Oh my gosh, coming from a literal scammer right here. He's calling somebody else a scammer. Seriously? Seriously. That's what people should know. He, he totally used me and Shani for a house when he was homeless, and now he treats us like this. It's absolutely repulsive. And it seems like you all used each other. Fucking disgusting. And he's going to be thrown out of wherever he is, and he's going to be judged by God for this. I haven't said a word, and I wouldn't gonna, wasn't going to say another word about this guy, but he's, he's now on us like the other reaction people are. It's disgusting. Wow, you just don't like being called out for your bad behavior. You do not. All right, you guys, I hope you're having an amazing weekend so far. Let's shake off any negativity or bad vibes. Shake, 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 shake. And I will see you guys so soon. Bye.